CBSA began their assessment and revenue management journey in 2010 to replace aging software. And here we are 14 years later, beginning in May 2024, they will be implementing it. Given such a lead time, you would expect that more information would be known as to the transitional measures in the process, but that hasn't been the case. Fewer than 0.0001% of importers have had any visibility to CARM's final project or product or been engaged in testing. But yet GHY, we've been one of very few that has been involved in every stage of the testing. We assure you that the import release process is going to remain unchanged. However, final accounting, it's gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna introduce a new CAD form to replace the B3, as well as procedures where CBSA will perform import calculations on your behalf. CARM also is expanding the duty and tax payment options to enable importers to pay either the customs broker or CBSA direct, where each payment, it, it's going to be made on the account of the importer, but applied against the oldest debt, regardless of which custom broker might have been involved in the release or accounting process. Unfortunately with CARM, there is going to be increased cost to the importing community, as well as the CBSA. And in May and June, as the transitional period launches, each invoice really should be carefully checked. We've kept abreast of the evolving CARM regulatory process and changes. And importers that want to wade in and check the regulations, we can provide a link as to CBSA's CARM Google Drive to acquaint yourself. We anticipate CBSA to communicate some very specific changes and we'll be part of that bridge to each and one of, every one of our clients over the weeks ahead. You'll basically have two options. One is paying the broker and the other is paying CBSA. If you're currently paying GST to CBSA, it's likely that after May Day 2024, you're going to shift to pay both duty and GST. But yet if you're paying the broker, you may wish to review options. One of the larger benefits of payment to a broker is that personalized service and accountability. You know, I'm gonna compare it to mail delivery to my home, where I know the postal or delivery driver. They place things in my mailbox. And in the case of those larger packages, they actually look after my best interest versus just having a centralized mail, post office, box, or station that may only be open in restricted hours. My preference is that personalized service. Things coming to me versus just getting an email to tell me to go check a portal without knowing if that random notice is a flyer, a bill, or an enforcement action. As she, CBSA, as they share their transition plan, we're gonna outreach to each client to understand your preference.